What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cut to the side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers and thanks for all the shares of my videos. It's really helping the content get around social media um, and to new people that uh, maybe the videos can help or they like my channel or what have you, what have you. I appreciate all the shares of the content. It really, really, really helps the channel grow. Um, and if you'd like to book a personal, they're open. Links in the description box below. All the, um, not the link, I'm sorry, the information is in the description box below. And everything you need to know regarding the readings are down there. And I offer a new service called Life Coaching if anybody's interested in that as well. Uh, most of my time slots are open now because I've completed a plethora of personals. So just let everybody know. Okay. All right. So we're going to jump into this. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I do, I do, I do. From Bob Mahashak. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, and it, okay, I heard it catfished, um, a catfished illegal business was strategically hidden. I heard it was done by, um, by a toxic family. They strategically hid it, um, hid it through a, um, uh, through a family member's legal business. And they were using the family member. And I feel for some, you could be the family member. You have to plug it in how it resonates. They were using the, the family members. They were hiding this uh, illegal business, catfished illegal business, under the, the upright family member and the upright family member's business license, basically. But all the while, they had an illegal, cat, illegal business going on, running behind the scenes from this upright family members, um, upright family member and their business. And from the channeling, I heard the toxic family was using this upright family member as a scapegoat and a guise to draw in wealthy investors to invest. They thought they were investing in this person and uh, this person's situation, but they was not. They were not, they were actually, um, it was a whole catfish and scam. And the toxic family members that did this, they took all the money and took everything. And specifically, I heard took it all. They took it all. Um, but now the wealthy investors that invested in this catfish and scam guys that basically these toxic family members used to and they scapegoated their upright family member and used them as a scapegoat to as and the guys so the toxic family members could basically take it all because I heard they took it all. Um, and also heard they never even told the upright family member. Confirmation from my phone. They never even told the upright family member that all this was going on, too. So I feel for some of you to be this upright family member. But they used you, sir or ma'am. They used you, which is sad. But now the wealthy investors, the ones that invested in this business idea or ideas but they thought they were investing in this person and their ideas and their goals and their aspirations but this person didn't even know about it because their toxic family members didn't tell them the wealthy investors and i feel for some of you could be the wealthy investors you have to plug yourself and refit the wealthy investors are getting a huge wake-up call and realizing this person had no clue or they're about to realize this person had no clue and that this illegal business was indeed being hid under the upright family member's business license. It is about to seriously backfire. It already has. It is about to seriously backfire. It already has. So it's already backfired in the universe and it's about to backfire. Somebody using some kind of scam, spam or fraud, illegal business type situation but they were trying to hide it up underneath their upright family members, business license and guides, basically. But it sounds like they can't do it anymore. I heard it's already backfired in the universe and it's going to continue to backfire. So you shouldn't be catfishing, scamming and spamming and frauding people. If anybody needs to hear that, that's terrible. It's really terrible. 
but they were really going after wealthy people. And I feel for some, you could be the wealthy people that they went after. Um, this is terrible. This is really, really terrible. Um, I heard it's already backfired on this toxic family. It's going to continue to backfire. But I think it's because the wealthy investors are realizing they have been scammed. They have been duped. They have been catfished. They have been frauded. They most certainly know it now. And more are about to, to figure it out. Okay. So a lot of these wealthy investors already know. They already know they've been scammed, spam, frauded, catfished, duped, whatever, whatever. And then more wealthy investors are about to figure it out. They're about to find out. And all the while, the scapegoated family member, <laughs> the upright scapegoated family member of this toxic family dynamic, they are they still have to this day have not even told this family member that they've done this shit. That is some crazy shit. Ooh. These toxic family members have been scrambling, trying to figure out a plan. But everything they've been trying conjuring up is not working. They do not want to be in the middle of legal issues, but they're about to be. Some already some already already have been and more are about to be. Okay, so this toxic family's already been it sounds like they've been having like a toxic round table over here trying to discuss how to get out of this shit basically how to get out of it but i heard everything they've been conjuring up so all their ideas of how to get out of it basically are backfiring they're all backfiring but i think it's because you wealthy investors a lot of you guys already know the truth some more you guys are about to learn the truth and um and because i'm sure because they haven't told the whole the their upright family member and the scapegoat of this situation the whole person that they built this false illegal business on and try to hit under their legal business license they haven't even told them what the hell is going on so i'm sure everything is backfiring on them because the, all this shit was based on a bunch of lies and deception and falsities i heard some of them have already been in legal issues and some more there's more legal issues coming so, I mean, well, that's what you get when you, um, and I'm feeling like criminal here. I'm feeling criminal. I didn't hear what type of legal issues. There's many type of legal issues. Um, I didn't hear what type, but I'm feeling possibly criminal here. Um, we've got an illegal business here. So how the hell not for at least the illegal business, I'm just saying. But, of course, I don't work in the legal sector or what have you, what have you. But I'm just saying, I cannot imagine how at least one of these legal situations coming up or that has already happened to this toxic family is not criminal. And I think one of them is going to be involving this illegal business that they've scammed and duped all you wealthy investors, if you resonate over here, wealthy investors, into this shit. I mean, I heard all the plans they've, the, all the toxic roundtable discussions they're having trying to come up how to get out of this shit is not working because it was based on falsities and lies and they hadn't even told this person. So, I mean, damn. That's what you get for lying. But, um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, heard legal issues are already come, more about to come over here. And I pulled, um, message of concern. So number 14 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 14, it could be a possible age of a child or yours or somebody you're connected to or any, any other significant number, number 14. One of these toxic family members through many series of chain of events is about to lose it all. And one of these toxic family members works out in the 3D and through many series of chain of events, they're about to lose their job. Theft in a warehouse. Oh, 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So we uh, got at least two toxic criminal type family members in this situation. Um, now, for some, I feel you could be the wealthy investors that have already know that already know about the situation, or some that are about to find out about this situation. For some, you could be this upright family member that they this toxic family still hasn't told about the situation. For some, you be toxic family members. You plug it in how it resonates, or you can be somebody who knows these people. You plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, <laughs> um. At least two of these talks of family members are about to experience negative tower moments. One of them, I heard, is about to lose basically it all. So I don't know if this is Chapter 13 bankruptcy or something of that nature um, or a bad investment or something like that. But the illegal business was a bad investment to begin with. I mean, and that's just the truth. But however that resonates, one's about to lose it all. I didn't hear specifics. The other one in this toxic family dynamic. I heard they are employed out in 3D right now, so the 3D work workspace, but I heard they're about to lose their job because of some kind of theft in a warehouse. So there's some kind of theft going on in a warehouse, and I'm presuming this person might be stealing from a warehouse or helping to steal something from a warehouse, or they're an accomplice to stealing something in a warehouse or something of that nature, some kind of theft in a warehouse. But through many series of chain events, this person's about to lose their job, and they're about to be shocked. And they're about to be shocked. They're about to be shocked. So they're about to be shocked. They're about to lose their job. But in all fairness, you shouldn't be stealing from a warehouse or helping somebody steal from a warehouse or knowing somebody's stealing from a warehouse and not speak up on it. So message of concern. I think that's the this person about to lose it all. I'm feeling, I didn't hear this, just intuitively, I feel this person might be going through, either is going through, I heard they're about to lose it all. So I think they might start, they might go through Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Or some kind of bankruptcy procedures, possibly, is what I'm presuming. But I heard about to lose it all. So you plug it in how it resonates. I'm feeling bank seriously legal bankruptcy procedures here is what I'm feeling. For this one. For this one, so message of concern, you know, investment loss, going under, don't have money to pay mortgage or rent or whatever, whatever. I mean, losing it all, message of concern. Um this one, I think, is the message of concern from the employer um, or the manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or whoever decides to terminate this person or has the proper policies, procedures, and protocols and authority to do so to terminate this person um, because it's some kind of theft in a warehouse. And I heard this person that is in this toxic family dynamic, they're going to be shocked. Now, you upright family member of this, um, you are a feel bloodline family member in some shape, form, or fashion to this toxic family. Um, I feel you are estranged from this family is what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. Most certainly estranged, and it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay, that's what I heard. Okay, there's confirmation. So you are most, uh, I felt you were intuitively felt you were estranged as confirmation for the spiritual realm. You are estranged from your toxic family, but I think it's because you're highly intuitive and you know to stay the hell away from these toxic people um, is what I'm feeling here. Um, that's, that's why I'm estranged from my toxic family. So I'm assuming that's probably why you guys are estranged from your toxic family too. And that's just the truth. But I heard it's going to be, you are estranged and it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. But I think it's because Towers are falling for these people. They've already failed. They're going to continue to fall. We're not talking about positive tower moments, like um, like getting the dream job of a lifetime or um, a video going viral and getting 25 million views and you get a, a very well-deserved payout or something like that. We're not talking about that. We're talking negative tower moments here. Um, and I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you, whoever you are, sir or ma'am over here. I feel you can be masculine or feminine, okay? Um, one of your fam toxic family members that you were estranged from, one of them's about to lose it all, lose it all. Confirmation from my phone. That's double confirmation. So I think, I'm feeling chapter 13, I'm just being real, or some kind of bankruptcy procedures, like legally. This one, they're about to lose their job. And they heard they're going to be shocked. They never thought they would. So they thought they had serious job security. It never was going to happen. Now they might, I feel they work in a warehouse or they work around a warehouse or they work, somehow their work involves a warehouse in some shape, form, or fashion. Okay? However that resonates and applies. And something to do with theft in the warehouse.
Can one of your extended family members that connects with this toxic family, they're about to make a huge medication error, a huge medication error. They work in a hospital. They live far distances from you and your toxic family. And they are about to be terminated through many series of chain events too. It's about to seriously harm this patient. Oh my God, there's three. There's three. Okay. So these two, I feel they could, I heard this person lives far distances from you and your toxic family. So you a strange family member over here. Um, okay. I feel these, pe these people possibly live near you or within reasonable distance of you, maybe driving distance of you. That's what I'm feeling. Or reasonable driving distance or something of that nature. I don't feel they live like too terribly far away is what I'm trying to say. The third person lives a far distance, like a far, 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 far traveling distance from you, a strange family member, and your toxic family members over here. Bank, uh, possible bankruptcy and theft in a warehouse person, okay? This person lives very far distances from you and these two, okay? This person works in a hospital, and I heard through many series of chain events, um, there's about to be a huge medication error. So it's like this person's about to make it. Um, they most certainly are about to make it, and it's about to happen soon. Okay. I heard they're most certainly about to make it, and it's about to happen soon. And uh, it's about to be such bad medication error that um, it's about to cause harm and injury um, to a patient. I heard to a patient, and I heard they will be terminated. Um, it is about to shock the hell out of them. It's about to shock the hell out of them. It's about to shock the hell. So they never thought they were going to get terminated, too. But, the th I mean, that... Okay, I think this person might be a nurse. I didn't hear they were, but intuitively, I feel they might be a nurse, masculine female nurse, because if you work in a hospital, you cannot administer medications unless you are licensed to do so, like an LPN, an RN, CRMP, something of that nature. You have to have a lot of licensure to administer medications to patients in a hospital. So I'm thinking this person might be an LPN, LVN, RN, or possibly a CRNP. I'm feeling more LPN, LVN, or RN, and I'm just being serious. But I heard they're going to be shocked too. So they're going to be shocked. They're going to lose their job too. But I heard it's going to cause serious harm to the patient. It's about to cause a huge hot mess. This person might end up passing away. They will be transferred to ICU. Oh, my God. They really may pass away. Oh, my God almighty. Dear God. Okay, yeah. I heard they're going to be transferred to ICU, intensive care unit. So, whoever this, I think they're a nurse. They, ha, they ha, I would think they have to be. They have to be a nurse. I'm serious because you can't administer, um, or you're not supposed to administer a medication in a hospital. You're not licensed to do so, and that's just the truth. So, I would hope they're licensed to do so. But, it's about to cause such serious injury and harm to this part, this patient, that they're about to be uh, uh, transferred. It hasn't happened yet, but after it happens, they're going to be transferred to the ICU, intensive care unit, which is the most critical care unit in a hospital for anybody to know. And I heard um, it's going to cause a huge hot mess. They will be let go, and they're going to be shocked to be let go. But the thing is, is yeah, my God, I mean, you should. I mean, you should, and that's just the truth. You. That's why, the, as nurses, you should do your checks. You should stop. You should do all your checks, all your checks, all your checks. Stop. I don't care how much shit you have going on in your life, how much these nurses are trying to get you out of the pixies, get you out of the um, omni cell, get you to go and get you to go and get you to go. No, you stop and you do your checks because the difference between one medicine to another medicine is a person's life. This is a good example if anybody needs to hear that. I don't care how many call bells are going off. And how much is going on? This is a good example. I I I was when I worked at the hospital from May to June, um, January to May of 2022. The nurses hated me at that Omni cell because I would do all my checks on the computer screen, all my checks on the Omni cell every time. They hated it. They hated it. I know they didn't tell me they hated it, but I know they did because I took forever. But I made sure I got the damn right medicine, and that's just the truth. Something's about to happen in raw medicine. Now, the, the med, the, a lot of the hospitals have good systems to where, like scanning, 
So I don't know what the hell's about to go on. So, I mean, I don't know. You're supposed to scan the armband, scan the medicine, scan, 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 scan to prevent these kind of things. I don't know how this is about to happen, but it is about to happen. And I feel they're a nurse and they're about to get terminated. And I honestly think, and it's going to be a medication error too. I think their ass is probably going to get reported to the board of nursing or they should. I didn't hear they were going to, but if it's a good hospital, they would report this nurse to the board of nursing for a medication error. Um, and they would do an official report in the hospital for a medication error. And that's just the truth. If they're working at a good hospital. Message of concern. About to, I mean, I heard the patient's going to get sent to the damn ICU. But it's because of the nurse's negligence and error in administering the wrong medication. I didn't hear what kind of medication. This is about to bring this person down to reality in a huge way. They are a nurse. Oh my God. Okay. This confirmation is about to bring this person down to reality in a huge way. They are a nurse. Um, but if this resonates for you, a strange family member, this person lives a far distance from you and these toxic family members. Um, when this happens, it's going to, I'm assuming they're, um, well, I heard they are going to get terminated. They're going to be shot, but I'm assuming their license is going to be reported to their uh, primary state's board of nursing whatever state they applied for their licensure, if they live in the United States. I'm presuming they're probably going to, I hope the hospital reports their ass to the um, board of nursing for a medication error. And I'm serious because that is, I mean, this is, we're not talking about Synthroid. We're talking something that's about to send somebody to the ICU. After this occurs, this nurse is going to call the FBI on some stolen money and their family in the past and an illegal business. Okay, I, okay. so this is the, uh, the nurse that lives far distances. After this occurs, I heard this nurse is going to call the FBI, so the Federal Bureau of Investigations, on stolen money and an illegal business in their toxic family. So I'm assuming on these people. Um, this is serious and I can only, I mean, I speak through a hard space with this one because I am a nurse and I get it, but this person that they need to stop and figure out what they're doing before they do it. I mean, you can't just, you've got to stop. You've got, I don't care how busy you are on your work day, work day, you have to stop and you have to look at the medicine period point blank. You can't just go on around just. I mean, that's why they have the scans and the armband scans, patient armband scans and the medication scans. I, I, maybe they're hacking the system. There are ways to hack the system with the medication scans. Trust me, in my last hospital, I, trust me, I learned the hack on like day two. And that's just the truth. So there are ways around that. Yes, there's scans for armbands. Yes, there's scans for medications. But I'll tell you from working as a nurse, as long as I have, there are hacks around that shit all day long. I learned the hack here in day two. One of the nurses told me. True story. But I heard uh, that it's not going to go well for this nurse. It really is not. It's going to be the end of their career. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard it's not going to go well for this nurse at all. It's going to be the end of their career. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I'm feeling meta, huge meta error reporting to the board. I mean, I didn't hear any of that. That's just from a nurse to, to another nurse. That's what I'm feeling. Um Maybe they can stop and do their checks before this happens. It hasn't happened yet. Maybe they can stop and gather their senses before they make this huge med error. But um, I heard they, it's about, it sounds like it's going to happen anyways. And they know of their family that basically, it sounds like these people down here that lives far distances from them, that um, was the participating in some kind of illegal business in the past um, and some kind of theft. And I heard they're going to call the FBI after all this shit happens to them and report that shit. So, um, 
you plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me see if I have anything else. This is sad. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Someone is seeing the bigger picture now. Much bigger picture now. Someone is seeing the bigger picture now, the much bigger, bigger picture now. So um, this could be you seeing the bigger picture now um, or somebody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but we have wealthy investors in here if you resonate in this category. We have the toxic family. Three of them. One lives very far distances from these people and this person. And then we have the estranged family in birth. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? If you do. But somebody's seeing the bigger picture now. So perspective change, big, bigger picture, bigger thinking um, energy here. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.